folks. So today's video, um, I could I forgot to bring my Sony A6000 because because um, I was gonna go to the beer fest with my friend, and so far, like I know security is gonna take away my camera, so that's why I left the camera in like the back bottom compartment. So that's one of the reasons why I couldn't. Overall, we got this crocodile. We were at Pier 39 catching this crocodile, and basically, this crocodile is about 969 CP. It's it was um, it was okay, but um, the IVs were okay. So. Overall, it was a little bit strong, but it's not going to be a strong for alligator, so that's why I actually had to transfer it because I had stronger croconauts that spawn here. So, yeah, it's actually, um, they're basically common, so at Pier 39, it, they just spawned out of nowhere. So, Pretty much we saw a quillfish that just spawned um, somewhere like close to Pier 39 sign. So it was pretty interesting seeing a quillfish because I haven't catched those guys since San Francisco um, during night. It was an all nighter. Like we had to, I had to invite my roommate and I invited my friend. We were catching quillfish, so quillfish is actually um, 484 CP, and I think the IVs were good, but we'll just double check. And you know, this quillfish here, they're just like swim, swim, swim. So then, <laughs> you know, we were gonna run for this Dratini that just spawned it before we went to the beer fest. So <laughs> it was actually crazy because. Like, we never catch Dratinis this for such a long time. Like, Dratinis do spawn in Embry Cove, but overall, Dratinis don't really spawn as much in San Francisco because Gen 2 dropped. And overall, um, Dratini will be spawning here soon. And basically, they're, they're pretty easy. This one was like 77 CP, and it was like, Pretty easy to catch them for candies, and yeah, we caught the Dratini. And a Mantine, he was like 1332 CP, and pretty much this Mantine is like pretty strong. I've seen stronger CPs for Mantine because I, I've been catching like Mantines in the city and they're pretty strong. Um, sometimes their IVs are not that great, and some of them are keepers, so, you know, just keep it as a strong IVs, and, you know, um, Mantines are really not common in our place, so, you know, it's always good to catch something rare, because they're 10 kilometer eggs anyway. And, yeah, we caught the Mantine. But then we spotted a crocodile again with 265 CP and it has good IVs. So that was pretty much it before my phone died. And I couldn't just like hang out or go anywhere. So yeah. And after that, we'll see a surprise coming your way. Hey, and welcome to another Pokemon Go session. So look. We have an Ursaring 695 CP just rolled out of nowhere. Oh my god, guys. I'm gonna go catch this guy. And because he's like the rarest Pokemon, uh, we also found him in um, Berkeley side. So these guys, this is my second Ursaring to find mm -hmm. in the wild. So it's at the city right now. Uh, so I'm about to catch him with my great ball and see if he's caught. No. Okay, so let's use Pineapple. Because um, it's an evolution Pokemon for Teddy Ursa, so 
I'm so juiced for that earth stream. All right, come on, one, two, three, yes. All right, let's go. And we caught the earth ring. So right now we should have 10 candies and 73 candies. So to praise it, one of the best. HP, defense, oh my God. Oh, it's so close. I'll star it. <coughs> Metal Claw and play rough. Okay, move set, but I'll take it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the experience for my San Francisco experience for from today. And I know I haven't brought my camera up to par. Haven't done the selfies part. I'm just trying to get used to it now because, you know, I just haven't really used the camera with the Pokemon Go phone my iPhone at the same time, so I'm learning. So, yeah, um, anyways, um, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, peace out. Beer Fest was fun, we met some people, and they were really nice. We got these two college kids from Stanford, and they were nice people. They were couples and um, they're almost graduating Stanford. So they're pretty much gonna get jobs sooner or later. But yeah, there's a ton of people that you wanna connect with for Beer Fest. It's really fun. And it's not just about drinking and, ha and just getting drunk. It's about like having fun with people that you wanna get to know and share your thoughts about what you do in life.